gets in lads the league's cup is in full flow right now and that brings us to talk about one of the bigger controversies in american soccer recently and that is the u.s open cup versus the league's cup we have a lot of opinions to talk about today leave a like if you think the u.s open cup is a better competition and should remain the top competition amongst domestic usa clubs over the league's cup and if not let us know your opinion down below and whatnot but first of all League's Cup is going on right now. What are you guys' opinions on the League's Cup in general? Regardless of the U.S. Open Cup, what do you think of the League's Cup as a whole? I I mean, there was a whole issue last year with all the the Liga Mekis teams having to, like, sleep in airports and stuff and, like, fly yeah. all around just because they're, they're, they're the ones visiting the U.S. Uh, but honestly, I don't mind it just so we can see that competition between Liga Mekis and the MLS and see which one's better and all that jazz. And I think it's nice to see other talent, per se, and see other players, especially as like a Mexico fan. But um, I think it also takes away, it takes a lot away from the season and the momentum mm-hmm. certain teams have from the season. Yeah. And, uh, and then it's hard to find the form when they come back. And then also it takes away from a certain competition uh that is the u.s open cup uh just because yeah. it's less this less cared about than it once was but i think it i think it hurts the season a lot more than it than it should i think it should be probably started at the beginning of the season i know liga mechies is like kind of towards the end when the mls right. starts uh but i feel like it just would be easier for both sides just to have that tournament get it done with and then they can start their season respectively and then it's like a little yeah. preseason tournament warm-up then kind of like right. what they did in COVID. Remember that? Remember when they had that tournament yeah, yeah. in Florida? Yeah. It's something like that. Something like that where it's in the beginning of the season, like the NBA tournament um, where they have it in the beginning. Just just because it's it, it in the midseason in the MLS, it ruins the flow of certain teams that are in form like Galaxy. Like it's going to be hard for them to find that form mm. again. Especially, yeah. if they, especially the teams that get knocked out early. Um, Teams that get knocked out early, then it's kind of like they're done. Like they have nothing to do after that. Uh, so that's kind of awkward just cause they got to wait that whole, like, what, two month period, like a month, right. it's like a month and a half period of doing absolutely nothing. So that, that's a bit rough, but I, I like it. And, but there's a lot of downsides to it at the same time. Yeah. I, I like it for what it is. I mean, like I'm, I'm okay with the competition between, you know, MLS and Liga Mekis teams to, to determine the difference there. But at the same time, like, I don't know, it's so unnecessary because don't we, you already don't we have, have the, the CONCACAF, CONCACAF Champions, Champions League? League. Yeah, okay. Exactly, yeah. We, we, we already have that. and But this is MLS's way of getting more teams revenue and game time against Liga MX team. Because obviously Champions League is, you have to earn that, right? You have to earn your spot in the Champions League, which is rightfully so. That's how they do it everywhere else in the world. But they want teams like, like Inter Miami, who, haven't qualify, who can't qualify for Champions League like that. Based off current, based off their own league performance up until recently, to play in these games and to make more money. That's the, that's the whole issue Mm-mm. with it. Mm-mm. I don't like I don't like how it's solely played in the USA, and that is conscious uh, that is a conscious decision by the USSF because it is you know revenue made for MLS for U- the USSF at the expense of Liga MX teams. And if it was a real tournament, if it was a really important big tournament that they want to make then they'd play it in Mexico too. It is entirely unfair that it's only in the USA. Um, in a country as big as the USA, Liga and Mexico teams should not be flying this much. Like you said last year, big issues with you know the logistics of it all, and it didn't make sense. It, it should not be how it is. And that's why I really don't like the League Cup at all. I think it's stupid. I think it's absolutely stupid. English teams are not playing against foreign countries, against other teams, except in friendlies and earned competitions right yeah. european mm-hmm. competition that is the whole thing is you earn that spot in a european competition and you get to play against the likes of spanish french you know serbian teams you know all these kind of teams and that, that's what be, makes it so special too that's it's what makes like it so special able to play in those european nights as they say is literally because it's once in a lifetime opportunity for certain clubs just because yeah. like, they may not be able to get back to there again right and and, and you know I, i'm okay with certain things being held if it means the growth of American soccer, because I do think that should be the main focus, but this isn't growing anything. No. If anything, it's it's growing distaste for the overall system. No point. Dale, go ahead. And I feel like if you oversaturate, like you take away the, the like novelty of playing like in these, like, Oh, I get to play 
I don't know, Guadalajara or, or, you know, like Pachuca or whatever. And if it's in the CONCACAF Champions League, it's kind of like a special occasion because like I get to play like these teams that are difficult because Mexican teams are historically done better than the MLS teams when they play against each other. And so these are tough, you know, tough games takes it away when you're playing this leagues cup that just seems like and you looked at a lot of reasons why it just seems so like cheap and and just a money grab for the u.s um yeah and it doesn't seem like it's really honoring any sort of tradition or anything like that and and it's just kind of disappointing and honestly i don't see any reason to it I, as i as i've kind of like figured out more and more about it right now like genuinely the Kung Golf champions league covers that it's like that kind of like nice like high level yeah, scratch that to be here and then the u.s cup uh, open cup is is that fa cup that carabao cup which i think the carabao cup we can even talk about there but it's like the fa cup that like allows smaller teams to have those upsets and have those moments against the bigger teams within that nation because it's within the u.s you don't need the least cup it just seems so forced and so unnecessary and kind of just cheapens right. the value of all the other tournaments as well um, and also, it adds right. more games. Do you know how many times players have said we played too many games? So many yeah. players always say that. Managers always say Espe- that, especially still... in the MLS with a different a different schedule compared to the rest yeah. of the world. Because they also have yeah. to deal with more international breaks and whatnot. International breaks, and they lose players during the middle of the season while they're playing games. So, like it, you know, MLS is on a different schedule, so it kind of messes up when the, they have good players that are moving to international and and getting involved with that. And it's just like already MLS has problems with that. So when you're adding more games being played by by even like players like from their from their fucking youth academy. And no right. offense, but unless you're a fan of the actual team, no one's watching that game. Like, come on. Like I'm not trying to see some 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 like you know, yeah, like MLS next you gotta, versus you gotta make it a yeah. little more interesting. And and the least cup just seems like a waste. And it's just definitely more money because obviously you got more games in the u.s against mexican teams so you get people from mexico probably coming and, and you know it's just a lot of that but i just for me it just seems right. unnecessary and, and kind of a waste kind of something yeah, i mean the u.s system yeah, genuinely. how it is just money just because like you look at the u.s system money it's all about money um yeah. and connections that's all it is but like here it's all literally this was created purely for the money um and we look at how the u.s open cup was is like that was the tournament for like you mls teams to play in a tournament similar to european teams with their respective tournaments in their countries and then they couldn't make a whole lot of money off of it because it was only a u.s open cup and then you know the federation was like oh we can make some money here if we play against league of mechies teams because they probably saw the turnout when Mm -hmm. uh mls teams did play against league of mechies teams uh in the past before this tournament was made and they were like, Oh, we can make a lot of money here. And so that's what they did. Unfortunately, because the U S open cup is there's no qualification process for it, for the, for the league's cup. There isn't, you just got to be in the MLS or league and Mechas and you're automatically in the only qualification yeah. part is if you win your league, then you get automatically into the round of 16, right? You're buy. 30 round of 32. No, or whatever. No round of 16. Yeah. You're, you get a buy. And so yeah. you just, that's why Columbus crew played against Aston Villa. Was because right. they didn't have a game, so they're like, right. "Oh, it, it, and they're pretty good, actually. And yeah, they're pretty good against them." Kucho played pretty yeah, well, got I mean, a hat it, trick. It all it all boils down to the USA business model that we've talked about time and time again. Um, the the MLS does not want to play against these small teams for multiple of different reasons. You know, in the American soccer pyramid, one is revenue. They don't get enough revenue playing against, you know, Oakland Roots because they're a smaller team, whatever especially if they're playing away at these USL teams, they don't make money off it a whole lot. So then what's the point in their eyes um, Two, if there is a good result, let's say, let's say um, Monterey Bay had a good run at one point. Monterey Bay had a season. great run. Monterey Bay had a great run and that makes MLS look so much worse. That's why they almost doesn't want to do it. The premier league, right? If you look at the premier league, Wigan athletic won the FA cup not too long ago against Manchester city, right? Fantastic result. Amazing. It doesn't take away anything from Manchester City, and that's because they know that. They know that Wigan had a good time. It was it was down to City. Whatever. They'll come back from it. Who cares? MLS, like, they take it so... I feel like they take it so personally. If, like, if mm. OCSC were to beat LAFC, MLS would have freaked the fuck out, dude. MLS would have gone crazy. <laughs> because there's less money for them. It makes them look like shit. You know, that's the whole thing. They need, to, they need to be top of the pyramid in the USA. They're they insecure be someone else. they hear the jokes, and they're like, no... No, we're not no, like that. No, no, stop, stop. Uh, it, but we're good. It, we're, no, no, fuck we're, you ain't. 
Yeah, no, like, like genuinely, if they 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 don't want to run the risk of another league gaining traction or teams gaining traction. Yeah. Because then if they do, then the MLS looks worse. MLS will lose more money, and there will be a competitor, but the, which they don't want, which is unfortunate because the MLS was made to advance soccer in America. That was the whole point. We got the World Cup in '94. They wanted to make a league because of it. And that was supposed to be the start of a new era of American sporting and which would, which would have been soccer. Right. But if the MLS, if the MLS is supposed to be the ones who advance the sport in the U S of a, then you can't be the other same at the same time, the ones diminishing everything else in it. What mm-hmm. makes soccer good? What makes football good around the world is the grassroots side of it. Yes. The premier league, the championship, La Liga, the top divisions are great to watch. Absolutely. But the real special moments is when Tottenham plays Marine. Oop, I hit my fucking thing. Is when Tottenham plays Marine in the FA Cup. Yeah. Marine has no shot. But they played away at Marine. And, you know, it was a great turnout. It was fun. Not was cool. really much stakes. It was yeah. cool. It was a great moment. It was like, you know, Tottenham had a good time. Marine fans had a good time watching some of the best players in the world. Perfect. Lovely. Doesn't take away anything from Tottenham's stature. Doesn't take, doesn't take away anything from Marine's stature. If anything, it advances it. MLS does not want that. And you can't you can't advance the growth of American soccer if you don't allow it to grow. If you're the only thing growing, it doesn't make sense. And obviously, this all boils down to pro rel and stuff like that too. And that's a whole different conversation. And if if, if the, <laughs> go if, off, the if the go off if the USL okay, I will. If the USL no, <laughs> um, <laughs> if the if it looks like the USL can compete with MLS teams, which I do think they can, I do think I there's think a lot so of USL too. teams that can compete with MLS teams then the MLS will have to face the questions of, well, why isn't there promotion relegation? Why isn't there more interaction between the two? Blah, blah, blah. Which also makes them look bad. That's why if you do the League's Cup, you make money, you play against some decent competition, and that's how you... And, and if the MLS does good against Liga MX teams, which they have done this this year, I think they're like 7-1 and one so far against Liga MX teams, then your league grows, your league looks better, your league gets more money. That's all it is. And meanwhile, That's the all U.S. Open Cup fades away, unfortunately. And the U.S. Open Cup, which is one of the oldest soccer competitions in the world, not just the USA, in the world, how are you going to disrespect the legacy of that so much? So mm-hmm. much. It is I do so... Think, like, I do think the name could get some a bit of an aura upgrade. Um, you know, well, like... It, it, it is the Lamar Hunt... U.S. Open Cup. It's like it's it's longer winded than that, but it's I mean, just it's just shortened. It's down. not. I mean, it's not great though. Like FA it's Cup, is like, okay, yeah. well, it's accurate. The F, the FA it's Cup is, accurate, is the Football Association Cup. cup. Goes, but, yeah. I mean, let's workshop some names. Like Jesus. Like okay. Like, um, well, we can um, say the Lamar Hunt Cup. But no, that's but no one knows who Lamar Hunt is. Like the okay. LH Cup. <laughs> Well, the LA Cup, that that that, yeah, yeah. I, LH, I just, LH, I just feel like LH, LH, it could, the LH, LH, like oh, the LH right. Cup. I just feel like it could use an aura upgrade. We, and need, we may, need something that, that rolls hope. off the tongue, yeah. Um, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Open if Cup, have any ideas, the US Open Cup, leave them in the comments. But no, it's an accurate, it's an accurate description. Accurate. Of what the, I mean, like the, all the cups cup are open, is. like you know, no, no cup is closed. You know, that's not even true. They care about cup is closed. The top two divisions, no, no, like a cup. The cup was always open. Jesus well, if you get a you get, you get a sponsor like that, then you know it changes it up a little bit. But you know, mm, it's, that's a good point. It's a good point. Uh, yeah, but I I don't mind it as the U.S. Open Cup. It's, I like, it's kind I of like the U.S. Open Cup. It should be, I mean, like we have like the U.S. Open and yeah. golf and tennis and whatnot, and the it's kind of open. Like it makes sense. And, and then that thing's open, fucking close. That's 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 vibe. That's a that's like or no, 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 no. The U.S. Open already is a thing. It's a golf tournament. No, no, I know, I know. <laughs> but like you know, you're like, oh, you in the U.S. Open? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I am. You're just on culture. US Open Cup sounds great. I don't know. I, I don't mind about. it. You know what? I know. There you go. You and everyone in the comments, you can get flamed for it, or maybe they'll have other ideas and then agree with you. I don't mind We're it. Just, I'm just orange. I like that. It. Uh, but Jesus like the, the US Open Cup contains uh, a lot of semi professional teams. It goes from the UPSL to I think Nisa Nation participates in, participates mm. too, then goes Nisa and then USL two. Uh, well, you, 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 USL 2 is a semi-pro, so it goes before it. Then NISA, then USL 1, then USL Championship. Then we go to the MLS. So it's cool to play uh, from from uh, a semi-professional perspective just because, like, we're playing in this year, like, literally next month is when qualifications yeah, are. Yeah, that's cool. Upcoming one. 
So like it's cool to play in that because like I can be like when I'm older, you know, I'm done not playing anymore. I'm be like, oh shit, I played in that, and like no matter yeah. the result of it, but the the chance of being able to play against a professional side, whether it's a NISA, USL, one USL championship or an MLS, I doubt that, but you never know. Magic of the cup, but um, you know, just being able to the the prospect of being able to do that, especially in such a prestigious tournament, is 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 cool. Cool to have and that's always the best part about having the lower teams play that like they have some hope you know like yeah oh we we actually get to like play against the big guys the you know the 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 the, the pros and who knows maybe we leave an impression like you know just like those yeah. like moments you get to have those memories and that's i mean the best it, part it's literally fact. win-win for both sides like big teams you play a small team you have an easier route perfect yeah. Small teams play against big teams. You have a good, you have a good opportunity. You, to you have nothing to lose experience. if you're a small team. There's, there's no, nothing yeah. to lose. You have there. all to play for, but there's nothing to lose. Like literally, yeah. there's nothing to lose. It's it's you're, you're David and you know the upper team's Goliath. But like, who cares right. at the end of the day? Yeah, and and who cares if Goliath beats David? Like whatever, you know. But the MLS feels so insecure about that, and that's the biggest issue. It's so unfortunate. Like, why are you putting your MLS next teams in? It's stupid. How about they participate? They can participate too. Like, I mean, yeah, might as well because they are they're in their own do league. Both. Technically, MLX players are professional players. If you, it, technically, they are. Yeah. Because they do get paid. So right. have them participate too and have their own qualifying round. It'd be kind of yeah, cool to see both. a second team play against the first team. Like, you know, if it happens, it happens. Um, but like maybe right. they're like farther down in the process of qualification so you can like thin them out. Uh, but, you know, uh, a lot of USL championship teams beat beat the. Even the NISA teams beat the the second teams of the MLS clubs pretty easily. Um, so, like, that's why they all got knocked out. All the MLS teams that put in their second teams, they're already out. None of the second teams mm. are around right now. So mm-hmm. it's only the first teams. Um, but, yeah, it, it's unfortunate just because of there's there's a lot of history behind the U.S. Open Cup. And, like, there's a as a player playing in it, it it's cool. But, you know, yeah, whatever. It, it means something. I mean, and... It's so rude for the MLS to dictate what stuff means to us, I feel like, you know? Like, yeah. they they want to make it so that we don't care about the US Open Cup, which obviously we do. There's been a lot of supporter groups boycotting the the, the Cup in itself. And it, it, just, it doesn't reflect upon MLS well, even though they think it does. The other day, Don Garber was complaining about how when Atlanta United played a game, they only had like 1,500 people in attendance. And he was like mad about that. He's like, what's the point of the US Open Cup? And he totally forgot that that wasn't even played in Atlanta. It was played about an hour and a half away at a smaller stadium. So that obviously no one's going to be there. But he he thought it was played and at Mercedes-Benz in Atlanta. And then they had a game the other day, I think yesterday or the day before, where they had probably about the same amount of people show up in the League's Cup. So the MLS is like, it's it's still Did struggling. Did he say anything? Like, Did he say no, anything? No, of course, of course he hasn't said anything about not, it. Of course not, dude. Of course well, not. Well, think about it. Think about it. The League's Cup. Okay, U.S. Open Cup tickets are very cheap. Look, LAFC tickets are pricey. But that's because mm-hmm. they're a new, relatively a newer team and it's a new stadium, so you got to pay off the stadium, right? Whatever. Right. So the tickets are going to be more expensive. Uh, and in the U.S. Open Cup, you get fifty bucks for one ticket, general admission, and sit anywhere in the stadium you want. That's a damn good deal. Right. Um, right. damn good deal. Thank you. Thank you, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you know, fifty bucks, or like it'd be less for certain clubs, right? Like Galaxy is probably cheaper just because they play in an alert stadium, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, and so a lot of people could go if it was like on a weekday or on a weekend, a lot of people would probably turn up to that game weekday, a bit different. Right. Um, and then leagues cup, you got 80, 90 bucks for one ticket in the, in not the nosebleeds. Cause it's like, you know, I don't want stadiums are not really a nosebleed section, but like in the upper tier levels. Um, right. and no, no one's going to be willing to pay for that shit just cause like, it's that expensive. Yes. It's a league of Mackey's team. There's going to be certain fans that are going to want to go see that. But for a leagues cup game that, doesn't really have a whole lot of meaning unless it's in the playoffs. If you really want to look at it, then no one's going to pay that. It's just no one's yeah. going to pay that amount of money for that type of game. No, it's stupid. Yeah, and like I said, supporter groups are boycotting it. I know as a result, other people are, boy- are boycotting it. A lot of people aren't like watching on Apple TV or you know paying for it and whatnot. So it's good. I mean, good on you. If you're one of those people, yeah. good on you. Except it's, Wednesday, it's... I might watch it. No, we're at the game. Okay. Never mind. I won't watch it. Fuck that. Yeah, we're gonna be at, I was going to watch gonna it just because San Jose so. was playing uh, LA Galaxy, so, and I wanted to you know, shit on San Jose. Mm. But mm. Uh, actually, never mind. I won't, I, won't, I won't be watching. I'll be at yeah, a game. We're going to be elsewhere, so we can't watch it anyway. But yeah, like it should be something that boycotted. And unfortunately, the MLS has way too much power in the USSF 
Don Garber literally has a seat on the board of directors or executive directors, or whatever, to determine who's going to be the next manager of the U.S. men's national team. Way too much power was given to the MLS. And they know that. They're keeping it. They don't want to give anybody else power. Anybody else to see the table. So, stupid. Stupid. As a result, they're going to be able to do whatever they want with the Leafs Cup. And I'm curious to see, if you are a Liga MX fan and not an MLS fan, I want to know your thoughts on the Leafs Cup, too. Because we I obviously really only hear from MLS fans and how they feel about it. I want to know how Mexican fans feel about it as well. Because that's important. Just as important. And I would imagine that there's not much interest in it, too. I would imagine. I'd be willing to bet that. But, yeah, all right. I guess we'll just end that video there. Let us know in the comments down below if you feel a certain way about this. If you agree or disagree with us, let us know. We will read every single comment we get. Do you guys have anything to say before we call it off? No. Watch the U.S. Right. Open Cup. Support the U.S. There we Open go. Cup. Watch, watch the U.S. Support. Open Cup. Watch, watch, watch the U.S. Open Cup. Watch the U.S. Open Cup. Watch the U.S. Go support your local USL championship side. Yeah. Don't, don't, or don't go lower. to the Or NSO or anything. NAA, whatever. Anything else. Support your local side. Because that's the only way to grow soccer in America is to support your local grassroots side. That's how they did it in England. That's how they did it everywhere else in the country in the in the world. Do it here. Exactly. Leave a like. Subscribe for more US Open Cup. Maybe Lee's Cup. Probably not. If anything's gonna be bashing on Lee's Cup. No. Subscribe for more US Open Cup content. <laughs> and uh hopefully we'll see you guys later. And uh, yeah, take it easy. Peace.